Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel, J Truck and Life. Um, it feels like it's been forever. I last time I probably picked up the camera was probably I would say August 26th, and where was today? August 22nd. So, I mean, it's September 22nd. The last time I picked up the camera was August 26th. So it was almost a month ago that I went without recording. Now, you guys might still have been getting some videos uploaded in the past couple of weeks that's because I, I saved them and it took me a while to edit them too so they don't want to just throw them all out in one week and then be gone for like three weeks so but we're back we are back and ready to roll i've been working obviously these past weeks i just haven't been picking up the camera I, i've been going through a couple stuff and also just working on a lot of other things so i've been kind of busy um yeah, I just been very busy. I bought a um I started reading the Bible more, starting to learn more scripture. And just been kind of focused on God for the most part. Just been talking to him even while I'm driving, listening to podcasts, um, listening to scripture, praying more. Just been getting a lot closer to him. So that's the reason why I also kind of put this aside. Just kinda of wanted to focus a little bit more on my you know, uh, not religion, but my relationship with with Jesus. So that's the reason why you guys probably haven't seen me. Well, that's the reason why I haven't picked up my camera for the past like three weeks. But you guys still got some videos uploaded um, throughout the three weeks that I wasn't recording. I still had some videos for you guys that I uploaded. But now we're back. Um, definitely gotta keep grinding too as well. Gotta pay these bills. So before we get into the video let me just show you guys where we're heading to so today we have we had edison i picked up a trailer right now i'm already hooked up i'm at a rest area i had to pick up myself a celsius you know kind of stay awake and so yeah we got i don't know if you guys can see but we got edison wallingford then we're going to north haven so wallingford connecticut north haven connecticut then we gotta go to bethlehem bethlehem pennsylvania and then back to Edison. So originally I had a different stop. Um, instead of Pennsylvania, I had, um, I believe it was Queens, New York, but it was like a very tight space. I, I was there last week and I mean, it's easy, but I just don't like going there. Just in general, I hate going into the city, especially on a weekend, like a Sunday. So yeah, but today should be pretty easy. Five stops, nothing too crazy. And yeah. Let's start heading over there. I didn't bring any lunch today, so hopefully we might be stopping. Well, we are gonna be stopping. I just don't know what to eat yet. I had Chipotle yesterday. Today, yesterday was my day off. Yesterday was Saturday. Today is Sunday, so starting off the, the work week. Um, but yeah, I already had Chipotle yesterday, so definitely not gonna get that. Most likely, I'm leaning towards like Panda Express. It's for I haven't gotten any breakfast or anything, so. I'm probably just gonna get one shot meal in for the for today. And then when I get home, just probably drink like a protein shake and just call it a day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you guys wanna see. We're almost close to a thousand subscribers and I let you guys know in previous videos, we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, just gotta see what kind of giveaway I wanna give and how I'm gonna do it so that way everybody has a fair chance to to win i'll probably go on live on instagram so i can show you guys on real time live the raffle you know i'll go probably go on a youtube generator where they can like raffle the subscribers and they put, they can pick out the winner so that's what i'm gonna do once we get to that thousand mark and also if you guys don't know at the thousand subscriber mark i'm also picking up a new camera for the channel so you guys can see a lot more uh different angles I know a lot of people have been asking me how to back into like the dock doors. They, they're having trouble alley docking or even I'm going to show you guys how to back in when you guys are at like a rest stop. You know, because a lot of people are doing over the road for their first jobs. Like for, they're trying to get experience. And I understand like it's kind of hard to back into like the dock doors. Like I know it could be overwhelming, especially when you're new. And I'm going to give you guys the tips and tricks that I help, has helped me 
in situations where I thought I couldn't even get it in or pause. I couldn't even like back the, the trailers, but I looked through other YouTubers and I'm gonna try to explain it as thorough and you know very easy as possible for everybody to understand. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. We're almost there, so I'm pretty sure maybe I'm gonna say by next month. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, but I'm hoping and praying. God willingly, we can get that by probably the end to beginning, end of October, beginning of November. So then we can probably get the camera by Black Friday, hopefully. They should be on sale. And yeah, it's gonna be like a 360 camera. I'm probably have it mounted outside a truck. You guys can probably get like a crazy view of the, of the truck and how back in. But yeah. We are on our way to Connecticut. Like I was saying, make sure you guys like, smash, smash, smash the like button. It really helps out the algorithm, really helps the video get pushed out. And for anybody who's interested in trucking, they'll be recommended this video. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just like, comment, subscribe, press the bell notification if you guys are new to the channel so you guys don't miss a video. But with that being said, how you guys doing? You guys should comment down below topics that you guys want me to talk about um, in the videos and that way I can you know discuss it it could be more like a on the road podcast but like without you guys obviously but I can answer some questions for you guys it don't have to be truck related yeah it feels really good talking to you guys it's been a while for me it feels like it's been forever for you guys you probably still been getting videos uploaded here and there so I know you guys aren't Oh, this guy's probably trying to go in the right. Let's let him go. But yeah, it's been it's been a while for me. But it feels so good. It's like back in my back in my grind, back in my in my comfort zone. I I love talking to you guys. I love recording. I love working. I know a lot of people would be like they hate working. Don't get me wrong. I hate waking up early. But I enjoy doing this. Like this is actually a career that I am satisfied and I'm very grateful and thankful that God put me into this position to be able to work driving. And you know, just, I don't know, I love it. What's there not to love? You get to see nature, you get to go out on the road, hear music, listen to podcasts, talk on the phone. Nobody's really over you hovering, making sure you're working, like you are working, you're driving. I don't know. It's just, it's fun. I like it. But yeah, comment down below any discussions you guys want me to have on the video. Um, and yeah, I mean, today should be a good day. It is going to be a good day. Got five stops. Nothing too crazy. Should be easy. And we should be back home. Hopefully by like 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I have been talking to to see if they can give me some overtime so hopefully I get something this week um, I think they opened up another like location closer to us so that we could do overtime or I don't know I just know that they have it available so definitely try to take advantage of it because we are gonna hit the holidays soon we're already about to go into October so definitely want to stack up some money for Black Friday, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, as you guys don't know, I am gonna be a dad too, so I wanna save up too for, for you know, my kid. Buy him some stuff, you know, like the crib, some clothes and stuff like that. And if you guys do wanna help out, I will link the registry down below into the, in the description. If you guys wanna help out, anything helps. And if you don't, uh, if you don't have money, that's fine also. Or, or if you guys are also, you know, budgeting your money, you don't have money, that's cool. You know, just leave a like, that also helps out too. And don't worry, I'm gonna make a video where it's mostly like not me talking, probably just like, just driving. Literally just driving. For those who probably don't wanna hear me ramble off, I'll probably make a video, a video too, where I'm really not saying much. 
and just kind of just going through the flow of work and yeah I'll probably make a video for you guys like that all right so we are about to pull in right now we're about like a mile down from the Wallingford Connecticut stop that we're supposed to go to that we're going to and we're gonna drop this off I believe we're picking up an empty I'm not sure I think it's an empty or preloaded trailer I'm not sure but yeah once we drop that drop this off and pick up whatever we got to pick up we're gonna head over to North Haven and then from North Haven back to or from North Haven to Bethlehem PA and on the way to PA I'm gonna stop and take my lunch break so that's what's gonna happen next and then after PA we're supposed to go to Edison and then from Edison go back to the yard so like I mentioned it's a pretty easy and light day today uh, I'm gonna get some backing in videos as well with the GoPro on my head and yeah that's pretty much it not gonna lie I'm very hungry haven't eaten anything today as of yet it's about 2.34 I mean 2.38 p.m. So I'm about to check in and then once we're inside about the back end, I'll pick up the camera All right, let's get this just dropped that off uh, it's been like a whole week so that's why I was kind of you know struggling with the back end but we're gonna pick up a empty uh, empty trailer parking slip 418 so that should be more up there more up. yeah it should be that blue one right there I think 416 417 418 yeah this blue one right here so nice to last three six eight five yep this is this is the one Tug test. All right, it should be good. Let's hook this up.
also check see the lock and jaws it's fully engaged fully uh, locking the fifth the fifth wheel or the kingpin i mean so you can see it was locked in around it this is locked into place in tandems just gotta make sure these tires aren't flat sometimes they're flat you make sure nothing's in between because it could cause a flat too and you know your reflective tape your door is good your lights are good you know you guys you gotta know the deal brake lights license plate lights for you guys anybody who wants to know how the inside looks it's pretty empty right now because it's empty obviously but yeah that's how the inside of the trailer looks Check these other tires and we should be good to go. And we're only going about like 10, 10 minutes away. We're not really going on a highway, but you always want to make sure that everything's good. You know, you know, your brake lines are good. No leaks, reflective tape, your doors are good. Everything's good. You know, just in general, the condition of the trailer and your lights, Make sure, always you want to make sure the first thing, always making sure that lock and jaw is fully locked around, fully closed around the kingpin. You definitely don't want this. You don't want to pull up, pull forward, and then, you know, have the trailer drop on you. Cause then that's not going to be a good time. So verified the last four of this one. And you can always do another tug test after you hooked up. Like you fully hooked up, you could test out your all your brakes. Um, at least your parking brake. You know, your trailer brakes is working. Man. Test your parking brake. And yeah, you could just test to make sure when you brake, service brakes is working, things like that. You know, always want to make sure everything's working, your brakes are working. They're mo the most important thing when you're driving is your brakes. So, and then we gotta do a U-turn to head back out the other way. <sighs> Guys, I am hungry. I can't wait to eat. Today's going by pretty quick and I probably got two more days left unless, you know, they hopefully add me a fourth day so I can get some overtime. Definitely need it. Definitely, definitely need it. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll pick up the camera when I get to the next location. And after that, we'll probably stop somewhere to eat. I'll probably take you guys inside so you guys can see what I'm gonna order or see what I ordered as far as for lunch and if you guys need any like um suggestions of where to get like phone mounts chargers i mean the cooler butt bag um just let me know like anything you guys or even like a gps i don't have a gps but i'm looking to buy one so if any of you guys have recommend any truck gps please comment down below because i might i, I just want to have one just you never know, it's always good to have it. All right, so we're two miles away. Like I said, it was a pretty short drive from the last stop I was just at right now. So we're about to pull into that place. I got this empty. I believe we're picking up our preloaded trailer and taking that to PA. 
So that's where we're about to go right now. Definitely gonna take my break once we get to, well, we're, we're on our way to PA. But it's crazy to think that we're almost finished with 2024. We're about to go into October. We literally have like, what, three months left? October, November, December. Yeah, three months left of the year, which is crazy. Like, the year went by so quick. I basically made a year working here as well. I have a year and like three months experience of driving, but I've been here for about a year now. get back to the yard pretty early today I don't know it's three so far yeah might be back at the yard like around nine also I think I'm I've had a couple comments people asking me do I ever plan on leaving yes and no so no if we they do offer us like overtime like consistently I'll probably stick around for like another like prior to like the beginning of summer of 2025 like once the winter passes and you know I'll probably start looking then but if not like at the moment, if I don't get overtime, I'll still be looking and hopefully find something that pays well more than what I get paid here and all and also with some overtime as well to make even more money. But if they offer overtime here, why not stay here a little bit longer, you know? But yeah, the plan is to leave at some point because all I'm doing right now is just building up that experience. So when I go apply to other places, you know, I have a good amount of experience maybe two or three years of experience you know all right we're gonna park this empty right here to my right 445 struggling today to back in I don't know why my first day back so I guess I'll just blame it on that Bethlehem, PA. So it's about like 122 miles from here. 
from where I'm at currently. And it says I should be there around 8.27. So I'd say about three hours from where I'm at. But yeah, we're heading over there right now. And hopefully I have time. I gotta see how much time I'm gonna have on my drive time because I, last time I checked, I had about five hours. So then that means I'll have like two hours left. So I gotta make sure I'll have enough time to go from Bethlehem, PA to my last stop in Edison and then back to the yard. So I gotta see, make sure. Cause if not, we might just end up going straight back to the yard at the Bethlehem. But we'll, we'll find out, we'll see once we get there. I don't wanna talk before beforehand cause you never know. So let's just see. Once we get there, we'll, I'll check and, and see how much um, drive time I have left on my clock. But yeah, as of now, hasn't hasn't been much traffic on the way. I've uh, just been listening to podcasts. I've been getting kind of sleepy, so I decided to just pick up the camera and talk to you guys for a bit. You guys can see, you know, me driving for for a couple minutes. Try to keep myself up. Alright, so after about like an hour and a half of traffic, we're still in some traffic, but we are about to cross the George Washington Bridge and then, you know, go on our way to PA, Pennsylvania. But yeah, we're gonna head over there and then. We'll see if we're gonna pick up that empty or not. I'm not sure. Kinda have like about three hours and some change left of drive time. So we're gonna figure it out once we get over there. Also, we had to fuel up the trucks because at the yard, the I uh, believe the fuel pumps are down. So we have to go like somewhere else and look for CNG um, fuel, which is kind of hard to find in Jersey. There's not that many stations that they have CNG. But yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. So I gotta account for that as well, so I can have some fuel for tomorrow. So yeah, you guys can see all the traffic you gotta deal with going to New York right now. Luckily for me, I'm finally heading out, so I'm thankful for that because that's a lot of traffic. That's kind of how it is in the mornings when I'm coming to New to Connecticut. I'm going through this bridge in the morning like this packed it feels good getting out of New York <laughs> a lot better So we're on our way to PA. You guys can tell it's getting dark. Um, sorry if I haven't picked up the camera as much today. It's just not much going on for the most part. It's just pretty simple, easy, no third parties, just dropping the hook. You know, you know the usual. But I already checked where I'm going tomorrow. If nothing changes, we su we're supposed to go to Maryland and Delaware, I believe both of those places we're gonna go tomorrow so that's pretty nice I like going down south like I mentioned a couple of videos ago I love going down south like Jersey and like going into like Baltimore area so yeah I don't know where it cut off because my battery died on this but yeah tomorrow we're gonna go to Delaware I believe in Baltimore I get fuel for this truck and hopefully I have time for that as well so that's why I don't know if I'll be able to take this empty we're gonna pick up after I drop this off to Edison because my drive time is gonna be very low and I still gotta go get gas for tomorrow so that way I have fuel and we are on our way we should be about 30 minutes away um, I was a little bit sleepy again it's kind of dark out and I'm just tired so I, I figured I'd pick up the camera try to talk to you guys a little bit I'm telling you guys the camera does help like I was a little bit sleepy and now like the sleepiness is going away. I don't feel as tired. I don't know, to talk to you guys kind of wake me up, wakes me up a little bit. And the 
it sucks because not there's not that much rest areas or rest areas in this area for me to pull over and whatnot. Summer's really over. I think I only went to the beach like one time this year or twice. Hopefully I get to go more next year. I get to go more often. All right, so we just got here. I don't know if I've ever been to this um, place before. I think I have, I'm not sure. Kinda looks familiar, kinda, kinda doesn't. So, I'm about to see right now. been to this place because I cannot recall this street at all so this must be a new location that I never been to and it's my first time so we're gonna figure out how the check-in process is here hopefully it's straightforward kind of hate the ones where you got to get down I like when they're easy simple you just go in So yeah, this is not the ones where where you check in through the, like the the guard shack. You have to you have to get down and go inside. So that's what we're about to do right now. Damn, this is a really small location. This is a small, small, small location. Oh, we're already here, so. All right, so we gotta drop it off at 401. Uh, it's gonna be a little, uh, it should be all right. I don't think it'll be that tough, to be honest with you. Honestly, yeah, we should be all right. We just got to drop off right there.
damn, I cannot park for shit today, bro. Should be good after this. checked out we are Bob telling out so just because we only have like about two hours left on our drive time so we definitely won't be able to to drop off to the last stop so basically I'm done for today we're gonna head back to the yard and yeah that's pretty much it for today we did four stops Edison Wallenford North Haven and then this one I was struggling. I don't know what it was. I just, I guess where I was already parked, and where I was already like set up wrong. But I mean, we got it in, so that's all that matters. So yeah, we should be at the yard in about an hour. From, and after that, um, obviously I can't fuel because I won't have enough time to go out my way and get some fuel and then go back to the yard. It's probably gonna throw me way past uh, over my drive time. I ain't trying to get a violation either. They take that very serious. Amazon really takes that serious, so I don't know. It's not gonna get fueled. But yeah, you guys saw today was a pretty chill and light day. Like, like I said, guys, this is an easy job. Like there's days where you'll have, of course, eight, nine stops, but they're like close by. They're obviously not too far from each other. And then you'll have days like this where you have like four or five stops where you're going from, for example, I went to Edison all the way to Wallenford, Connecticut, North Haven, Connecticut, then came out to Pennsylvania. And I was supposed to pick up an empty, drop it off in Edison, but I just didn't have enough drive time. Just sitting, sitting in traffic kills up a lot of your drive time. So it wasn't able to, it was gonna make no sense for me to take an empty knowing I won't be able to make it back to the yard so yeah that's what happens but guys like like I said bro we're gonna get to a thousand subscribers soon we're almost there I think we're like need about a hundred and thirty or 140 subscribers left to get to the goal so definitely definitely share comment down below you know share the video like the video interact with it definitely help us help me get to a thousand subscribers it would definitely mean a lot to me so yeah we are on our way back to the yard um, I want to say we're probably about 10 minutes away so yeah we're about to be at the yard pretty soon but I just want to say if you guys made it to the end of the video I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like, comment down below, whatever you guys want to comment, obviously, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Good to be back. Good to be recording again. Um, sorry if the video is a little bit like boring or like not too much going on. You know, I can only do what I can with the 
the stops that they give me and it so happens that I only had four stops but tomorrow it's gonna be a better video so stay tuned for that one so but with that being said guys stay safe you know keep grinding don't ever stop don't ever give up on your dreams always have faith trust and you know you'll get anywhere in life as long as you have faith with that being said guys to the next video peace